All right, ladies and gents, here we see our chromatography plate. Now remember, a chromatography plate is essentially just a glass plate. You can see it's shiny glass on one side, coated on one side with usually an aluminum powder or a silica powder. Now, these plates are very, very delicate. Um, they are very easy to, to essentially flake or chip the powder coating off, which will ruin your results. So when we prepare the chromatography plate, we have to be really, really careful. Now, at the bottom of the plate, you can see I, I drew a line that is exactly one and a half centimeters up from the bottom. This kind of think of it as our start line. This is where we're actually going to place our samples is directly onto this line with our capillary tubes. Up at the top, you can see I've, I've also labeled it CS, S1, and S2 for our crime scene sample, our suspect one sample, and our suspect two sample. Now all of these labels and this line were made with a pencil, not a pen. Why a pencil? Well, the pencil won't dissolve in the solvents and travel up the plate like the pen would because the pen is made up of organic materials. So this allows us to have a nice, easily visible starting line without altering our, our objects or uh, contaminating our samples and uh, contaminating our results. So now we still just have to wait a little bit for our lipstick stains to continue developing in the solvents and then we will uh, move on to show you how to actually apply the lipstick to our chromatography plate. 